little oh shoot 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 oh, oh. go to the portal go to the portal Welcome everybody to the Wasted Apple Minecraft server. Um, this actual pixel art here was done by Gilded Tally, and she did an excellent job. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you through and show you a little bit of what we have here and what we've done. I'm just going to fly through in spectator mode just because it's a little bit easier. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, discuss some other stuff later on with what we're going to do as far as the Minecraft videos go. But we're going to start off with just showing you what we got here. We've got your regular little uh, drop system iron golem farm so you can get uh, lots and lots of iron. Um, down here we've got our little village that we found right off the bat. And um, it's, not, it's not too tiny. It's actually relatively large. Um, we got a few different things in here. Um, it's pretty nice. We've got an automatic sugarcane farm over here. Um, I got some villagers locked up for uh, breeding purposes. Uh, this right here is our um, floating sheep. He's been here since the village spawned, and we just kind of deleted the building around him just to leave him, just to see what would happen. So uh, yeah, we left him there. And then if you come down here, oh, wrong way. We come down here. Uh, this is actually my automatic farming machine. Uh, you just throw whatever crop you want in there and it'll just make the hell out of it. It's really nice. Uh, let's see here, we've got our automatic chicken farm. My little hut, uh, creeper. Uh, this is Mr. Gourmet's little hut here. He's worked on for like a day or so um, and then this is some more of Gilded Tally's handiwork she's uh, quite the builder uh, it's a nice little uh, I don't even know what that is it's a modern style building but it's pretty cool looking nonetheless and then up here she's got a uh, <clears throat> a little village going which actually is really really neat it's kind of a German styled village it's pretty cool um, She's still going through and decorate and decorating it and stuff and whatnot. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, come down here. I want to show you something down in the basements. We'll come down here and uh, well, actually, you know what? We'll be right back for this one. All right, so we got back sooner than what we thought we would. I just wanted to kind of show you what I had planned going on down in here. This is some stuff I was just working on for just this little survival world that we had from the multiplayer. And I was just doing some different little designs. Uh, this actually goes all the way down to diamond level. Um, but we've got a skelly farm and enchantment table over this direction. And we'll run down this little corridor, which I still haven't decorated or anything like that to find. And uh, you'll see I've uh, got a bunch of furnaces. I just, yeah, I don't know. I was in a crafting mood. And I needed to get rid of a bunch of couple. So it worked. And then you just stand right here. The skellies come down, they drop. And then when they drop, you wait. But you can see there's an enchantment table there. We've got storage for stuff. Um, just random things. I don't think a skelly's gonna come. There you go. And then you whack. And you whack. And you get the XP, and all their junk falls into there and goes down the series of hoppers underneath all the stuff. And it comes over here, which is compiled into a redstone contraption of sorting systems and whatnots and then it gets separated into well not that uh bows arrows and bones and i believe somewhere in there i've got a uh, an overflow for our armor goes into the chest with the um um bows but uh yeah so there's that um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and peace out for a second 
and I'm gonna come back when we're into the nether. All right, and we're gonna get ready to go through the nether. It's been a long time, time, time since I've gone. I hope it's safe. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a new sound. I've never heard that one before. Um, okay, well, Gilded Tally's done a lot of work on this server. Um, it's actually really impressive. Um, a lot of the mechanical kind of things and the uh, portal systems I've uh, taken care of, but all the design and things of that nature, like this right here, she's planning on making this like into a little uh, store area. It's going to be really, really neat. She's done an excellent job with it. Um, but this is going to be another hub, and uh, we've got all our portals and stuff like that here that lead off to different areas. Uh, looks like this one leads off to Gilded Tally's base. We'll take a look at that here after a bit. Um, we'll run over here. Oh, it's such a long run everywhere. Uh, this way leads off to my base that I was working on, and this way goes to the um, Mesa Biome and the Guardian Farm. We'll check that out here in a few, but first I really, really, really want to show you guys this. Uh, if you head in this way, and I've got ice stuff along here, so you can... Uh, boost jump and stuff like that and get stuck but I wanted to show you this this is another thing that Gilded Tally's uh, been working on pretty hardcore um, it's our theme park and you'll see why it's awesome we actually found a really nice place for it and uh, yeah. That's all I have to say. Let's uh jump out into spectator mode real quick to give you an idea of the massive scale of this thing. It's huge. And then it's it's going to be for Iron Ball, which I have still yet to have designed the uh, redstone for it. It's going to be a lot of work designing the underground redstone for this, but it's going to be so worth it when it's done. Let's see here. I don't know if Annette doesn't look like she's done the locker rooms yet. No, she just dug down for them. But if you come out here, you'll also see the entrance to the theme park <laughs> is one of your own truly a giant stormtrooper given the finger. It's pretty neat. But uh, yeah, that, that arena is huge. And you can tell on here, let's, uh, oops, wrong button. Drop back in the survival. She's putting in ticket booths. And over here is the stairways to get up into the uh, stands. And then you can see it's pretty premier. But actually this is the side that's not even finished. What am I doing? I'm showing the wrong side. She's going to kill me. Those uh, those are end rods up there for uh, lighting. It's it's awesome. They look really nice. But yeah, this is what the end result's gonna end up looking like. I think it's gonna look really really neat when it's all finished. It's gonna be uh, super super cool. So uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna hop off here again real quick, and I'm gonna go to actually no, I can I can take you with me. It's not that long of a trip. I promise. I promise. We just gotta run inside of here real quick. Jump in the stormtrooper's belly. Okay, so you can see here I've got the gold XP farm. Um, I was able to use the uh, tree trick to get through the uh, bedrock here. Um, and we just kind of expanded on it once we did. 
Um, this actually works awesome. Oh. I hope he's not up here. That'd be bad. We'll go ahead and climb the ladder. This is a really, really long trip. But it's for a good cause. This thing is incredible. Whenever we get up here. You can already see I've already gotten a gold nugget. We'll climb up here. This is probably one of my bigger inventions that I've done myself. Um, definitely needs a lot of work and a lot of aesthetic designing, but I think overall it's not too hateful. Um, it's pretty effective. Um, yeah, pretty much you just take your bow. Yep. Peg one of these guys, make them angry. Oh, come on. Really? There we go. And then they all get very, very angry at you. And then when they get all angry at you, you come over here. And you hop in the minecart. And you start to go. Uh, yeah, that didn't work how it was supposed to. Here we go. And this minecart is set up on a timer. So it will push you back and forth, and you can AFK here. And it gives you just enough that they can come down, drop down, and actually, I think I've got this thing powered off right now. Let me, uh. I don't remember how to get out of the minecart. Oh no. Um. Oh. I just dropped my super good bow. There we go. Shift. Shift gets you out of the minecart. Oh, and it gets you stuck where you can't get back over. That's okay, well. Crud. I need to dive down here and get my bow anyways. Oh well, this is the beauty. You just drop down here and get all of this XP. But unfortunately I'm in creative mode so it doesn't do any good. But I'll kind of give you a little idea of how this thing works. We'll come over, well not get stuck in it. But basically, what you'll do is when you make them angry, we'll come over here, and we'll turn this on. So you can see, I got sticky pistons there. And when you make these guys angry, which is not going to work because I'm in uh creative when you make these guys angry and they come at you they're gonna drop down and they're gonna hit they're gonna fall down and get in front of that sticky piston and the sticky piston is gonna push them and they're gonna launch them off well launch them that way and as it launches them that way, they're going to fall. 
and then that's how you get all your XP's and stuff. It's pretty nice. Uh, let's see here. Alright, I don't trust that. But yeah, that's how that works. And then you can come down here. And now that I'm not in creative mode anymore, I can show you how the collection system works. Now we're gonna go slow. <laughs> it's getting kinda dangerous there. So you can see you got a little bit of XP right there. But this is where the Buku is. And go and pick up a couple extra little things and then just get mad XP. Look at that, almost level 30. And then you can come over here and then I've got storage chests for all the gold you could imagine. Well, that's not all playful. But this time I actually am going to peace out until I can come back with the Guardian Farm because I'm pretty proud of it. It's huge. Alright, and we're finally back. And we've got a couple of places we can go. Now, unfortunately, the Guardian Farm I need to do a little bit of work with because it has uh, changed since the 1.9 update. Uh, doors and stuff like that work a little bit differently. So I've got to do a little bit of tweaking with... Uh, <clears throat> with the collection system, however, if we come over here, you can get an idea of the scale of this thing. Now, I, I will be honest, I did do most of the clearing of the sand in creative mode. Because you look at me and tell me if you want to clear all of this out otherwise. Because if you don't, it is awful. It is just miserably awful. But um, I want to take you upstairs because, well, I guess I can run it down here a little base. But yeah, that's the killing chambers and stuff like that and the collection system. And that's what I need to work on is getting the uh, item elevator to work better. Because the way that it was you used, I believe it was a fence post, and um, that would... Um, then, like, shoot the item up through a pillar of glass as high as you wanted it to go, and it worked really, really nice, but unfortunately 1.9 they decided, eh, well, we don't really want it to do that anymore, and they changed it, and now it doesn't work that way, and it sucks. But it's okay, there's ways around it, which isn't a big deal, we can find them out. Alright, oh gosh, I always hate coming through that portal it's always so laggy and it's so so high up look at that that's such a long way down but we have over here chests uh, I guess it's just kinda storing stuff through even though I was going to say the sorter's not working, but anyways, we've got chests full of fish and ink sacks and crystals and shards and everything, and it's incredible, and it's just, it was such a huge build, like, uh, to, just to give the scale, man, I, I, I just gotta... This is just unbelievable. We'll splash down through here. And then the item collection system that's completely backed up now. Just full of junk everywhere. You can see it's all collecting down there but going nowhere. And it's such a sad, sad thing to see. Because this is just an awesome design. And then it would shoot it all the way up here and then poop out. 
and then just work its way around into the sorting system I've got built over here. But yeah, like I said, this was done mostly in creative. But even then, even in creative mode, this is still a massive, massive, massive build. That's 64 by 64. By, I think, 40 cleared out of water, which you have to clear every single block. It's just, it's almost impossible. But, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of take you guys around today and show you around our, um little oh shoot 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 oh, oh. go to the portal go to the portal Ooh. that was intense all right but I uh, yeah I just wanted to kind of bring you guys in and show you a little bit and uh, kind of let you see what's going on on the server because what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm just going to kind of go from the center hub and dig straight down to probably uh, almost bedrock and then I'm going to wander off in some direction I'm not even going to pay attention and venture off into some random area pop back up out of the ground and I plan on starting a brand new Let's Play Survival series, and uh, it's going to be a um, single player, just on the server, so it's constantly running and stuff like that. Um, and I think it's going to be kind of fun uh, to start back over from scratch and uh, see what I can do and see what I've got as far as building style stuff for myself. I've, I've never really been a big builder builder, I mean I've got some stuff on my uh, Xbox version, but I've really done a whole lot on the PC, so I'm, I'm curious to see what I'm capable of and uh, what, what we can build together as a team. So um, if you guys want to and you enjoyed the, the Minecraft stuff, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, it does help me out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. It's getting kind of late. And uh, oh, there it is. There's a wasted apple. Um, getting kind of late. I'm going to go ahead and uh, log off for the night. But, uh, yes, it was definitely real and uh, very nostalgic. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be back on uh, playing Minecraft. So go ahead and hit that like button and uh, we'll see you guys around.